this. I mean, was, seriously? That's amazing. Yeah. I'm sure all of the Philippines is celebrating this yes. year today. Wow. Now, How about you, that? It'd be humbling. It'd be humbling like, if you happen to be working out in the gym next door. Yeah, right. I'm going to try it later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look, it's all I love good it here again. She's a girl, too. Yeah. <laughs> no, she did it. Fantastic. Let me show you what we've got here right now for the picture behind me. Shows a little bit more of the haze in the sky than I showed you earlier. Maybe a little bit more of a westerly component uh, to our winds. Uh, 86 degrees as we speak. High temp today was. This is just updated. 88. We hit that just before 3 p.m. 85 is the average, so you're three degrees above the average. What do you expect for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's going to be hot again. And again, there will be pockets of haze out there for your Tuesday. By Tuesday night, I'm talking about introducing a rain chance to the area. And then for Wednesday, there's both an a.m. and a p.m. rain chance. And man, we just do not need any more rain. In our area, we had some this morning, even in the metro areas. The last raindrops were falling. Zoom in tight right there. Yeah, it was around the very southern tip of Long Beach Island. A little storm pushed over the area. That storm was all part of the front that is now offshore. All right, that's not coming back, but you know, it put some rain down. In fact, New York City picked up over half an inch of rain. So we have now jumped from the fourth position. We went over 1897. 2021 is now the third wettest July ever. We would need about an inch and a half to take over. 1889s, 11.89 inches, hmm, an inch and a half from this point forward. Remember, Sunday's August 1st. It's possible, but it might be a stretch, and I'll show you why. High pressure in control as of right now. High pressure in control again for your day tomorrow by tomorrow night. This front to our north is going to drop in with a rain chance for Tuesday, lingers into Wednesday, then by Thursday, another bout of energy comes in with a bit of rain. But how much rain is it putting down? You might be close. Here's the deal Tuesday looks beautiful by Tuesday night. Here are some showers and some storms making their way into the area. This is 10 p.m. They will drop a little farther to the south into the metro areas, 3.30 a.m., but they are fast movers, all right? So they don't get a chance to put a lot down. Then you get to 3 p.m. Wednesday. At this point in time, I think it's possible that New York City could be picking up about an inch of rain. Then on Thursday, excuse me, about a half an inch of rain. Then on Thursday, maybe it's another half an inch of rain. So if any of those bouts get a little stronger, I mean, maybe you can bump into that number one position. I don't know if we're rooting for it. I mean, Dick, are we rooting to be the wettest July ever? I don't think so, long. Yeah, but maybe not. Maybe not. Of course it is. Yeah, for some reason, you want the gold medal. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what's going on. Hey, here I am talking with my basement was flooded this, this well, a couple of weeks ago. All right, 90 degrees for your day tomorrow. That is when the rain chance will begin tomorrow night. Not so much during the daytime hours. I think your daytime tomorrow is going to be kind of similar to what you had today. So it's hot out there. You're going to be a bit milder on Wednesday at 83, but again, now you've got a chance for a morning shower, maybe one in the PM hours as well. Thursday, you're 80, so it's cooler still. Could have some folks maxing out in the 70s on Thursday, and there's a storm risk that gets reintroduced. But after that, that's it, okay? I mean, you're talking about temperatures that are in the lower 80s for the most part. I think the upcoming weekend looks pretty darn nice out there. Monday could possibly, I've got partly sunny right now, Monday could possibly be hinting at, at a rain chance, but that would be, uh, what, August 2nd by that point in time. Uh, the fact Already. is, it is, I, I know. I know. I, we, I, we were starting, my wife and I were trying to plan a vacation. She says, oh, honey, the, the kids go back to school August 30th. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I said, I went back to school until after Labor Day my whole life. It's true. But, uh, yeah, so here we are. I'm almost into August, guys, and it has been one, one wet July. It I seems know. like we had rain at least every other day, if not a bunch of days where you had it in a row. Is your basement dried out yet? Uh, they, they have to pull the carpet out and the, the padding and everything, so there's nothing. It's like just a concrete floor, but I mean, I guess it's dried. That was last week's problem. Lonnie had a big leak. It was bad. Uh, well, was everybody, time. lots of you folks did. Yeah, I had sure a flood did, in yeah. the basement with all that rain that we picked up. Ground saturated, guys. All right. Thank you, Lonnie. Thanks, Lonnie.